simplify the following expressions for number two. Four times two is eight. X, you add exponents, that's six. For number four, two times two is a four. Then X, you add exponents, is a fifth power. For number six, make sure when you do the division, base never change. And uh, use the bigger exponents, subtract the smaller exponents. That means uh, 7 minus 4. This one is gone. That's you get the 1 over x third power. For number 8, any number to the 0 power is 1, so you get the negative 1. For number 10, you will get uh, x to the 8th power and y to the 4th power. For number 12, reduce, you will get the 1, here's 2, so you got the 2. Then 5 is a bigger exponent, subtract 2, that means x to the third power, here's 1. So you got the 2x to the third power. For number 14, that's power of a power. 2 to the 4th power is a 16. Then f to the 4th power. g multiply is a 16th power. Times f to the 6th power times g to the 6th power. This time you add exponents. So you got the 16f. 4 plus 6, that's 10. Then you get the g, it's 16 plus 6, that's 22. That's the answer for number 14. For number 16, make sure the greater exponents minus the smaller exponents. So this is 1, then 2 minus 1, that means the x to the first power. For y, 5 minus 4, that's y to the first power. Then over 1, because this is gone. That's how your answer will be x, y. For number 18, before you do the power of a power, make sure reduce the base first. So this is a 1, then this is a 4. For x, you got to reduce this one, so 3 minus 1. And for y, you have to do 5 minus 1. In other words, reduce the base, you will get denominator is 4. Then x squared y to the fourth power. Then you do the fourth power. So 4 to the 4th power, that's 256. Y multiply 4 times 4 is 16. X to the 8th power. For number 20, that will be 1 over 7 squared, means 1 over 49. For 22, you will flip to the top, you will get the 2 to the 4th power over 1. That's how you get 16. For number 24, you got the 1 over x to the 6th power. For number 26, we add exponents, you will get the j to the negative 3rd power because you negative 13 plus 4 plus 6, then you will get the 1 over 3 to the third power. That's the answer. For number 28, reduce the numbers. That will be here's 1, here's 4. First you got a 4 for x. 6 minus 
negative seven. That's how you got the four x to the thirteenth power. For thirty, when you do the division, you have to make sure use the bigger exponents subtract a smaller one. Then keep the position of a power with a greater exponents. Therefore, you will get the x is negative four minus negative nine. So you got the negative negative means positive. So x to the fifth power. For thirty two, three and a twelve, that will be one. Here is a four. X, we do the six minus two. For y, you have to do three minus negative three. So your answer will be one over four x to the fourth power, y to the sixth power. For number thirty-four, same thing. Two and eight, I reduce will be one here to four. X, you have to do seven minus four. And y, you have to do. Three minus negative four. Therefore, your answer will be one over four x to the third, and y to the seventh. Now let's go to thirty-six. Regular number multiply, you got the ten. X that's exponents add exponents, you got. Six. For y, you add exponents. That means the negative second power. Then you need to drop down the negative exponents. Therefore, your answer will be ten x to the sixth power y squared. Now let's go to thirty-eight. First of all, simplify the base. So negative two three, you stay. For a, three minus two will be first power. For b, three minus two is a first power. For c, that's a seven minus zero will be seven. Now, do the negative second power. Negative exponents means you flip the denominator and the numerator, so you get the three b six sevenths. That negative two a, then I do square. After I flip, I will change the negative exponents to the positive. Therefore, your answer will be three to the second power is nine, and uh, b square. Then c will be seven times two is fourteen. The negative two square is a four, a square. Yeah, that's the answer for thirty-eight.